Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here once again, enjoying another beautiful late summer day on Vancouver Island. So today I'm really excited. My package has arrived from Garnet Industries, or no, Garnet Instruments, out of Calgary, Canada. And what what's inside here is my new sea level gauges. Um, as I told you in the last video that I was going to be doing an a new project installing these new gauges into my uh, Cougar fifth wheel. Um, you know, if you've RV'd for any length of time, you know the gauges are absolute crap. They don't work. After a little while, they foul. I think our fresh water still works, but even when it works, it only tells us one third, two thirds, or, or full readings and empty readings. So it's very, very almost useless because um, it can be half full and it says one-third or two-thirds so it's not very accurate so these new gauges promise to give me exact percentages once they're installed so I thought I'd do this quick video unboxing video and give you a look at what comes in the package Let's see a nice little package okay so we got the owner's manual nice little pamphlet owner's manual do the install um, some wiring Yes, that's to install the display panel and the electronics comes in nice static proof bags so let me pull that out and lay it out on the table so we can see what we got there we go so there's my four sensor strips so we're gonna have one for each tank um, on my RV I have two gray tanks a black tank and a fresh water tank um, so each of those will will attach to the tank um, so and if you notice here on there these these square areas well if your tank is a certain size say the tanks only you know this size that you can actually cut in between each of those squares there to adjust the size of the strip which is pretty cool so this this will easily accommodate my size tanks so I'll have to adjust it when they get there um, you can see off the top there's only two wires and they actually are all going to join together so you only need two conductors going back to the main control panel which is really good so you, you're probably wondering how does it figure out tank from tank well at the top here get in there you can see these little tabs and they, they're labeled gray top and black and by cutting the tab off at the top you're cutting through a conductor and then the thing knows which tank is which so for a fresh water tank I was reading the manual you just leave it the way it is black you just cut the black tab off uh, one of the gray tanks you just cut the gray, the one gray tab off and then the the galley tank I'll cut the, the thing that says top and gray then the little brain here knows that uh, which is which. So this is the little brain box. It's a lot smaller than I figured it would be, which is cool. I should be able to easily mount that. Probably be able to replace the existing panel with that. So the one I bought, there's, it comes in all kinds of different configurations and models, but the one I got has um, the black, galley, gray, fresh, It'll also be able to hook up and measure my battery voltage. And there's two switches on it. There's two switches on my existing panel. So that'll replace that. There's the water pump switch. And also the heater, which is the water heater switch for using on, on gas. And then there's the display panel. Looks like it has three digits. And it'll, it'll display the voltages and the percentage full of the tanks. There we go. Just a little bit of a circuitry in there with some chips. And then on the back here is your Molex connector to plug into your uh, wiring harness. That's a quick look here. Yeah, it looks like it'll probably, the red will probably hook into the, the main power into the panel. I assume white is ground. I'll have to look into that. 
One thing I notice on everything, everything says made in Canada. Wow, made in Canada, made in Canada, made in Canada. That's cool. So many things are made in China. It's nice to see something made in my own country, actually. <laughs> okay. So, with a quick look at the manual, I can see we got system description, operating instructions, display calibration, sender programming, installation guide. So, I'm going to spend uh, today reading through all this, kind of trying to understand exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, I've got some illustrations of, of pros cutting the tabs there. Oh, there we go. There's the, the coloring uh, wiring diagram. So we got 12 volt power to monitor ground tank sensors, pump power, and it's got the, the color codes. So I'm hoping the wiring in my trailer is going to be similar. Um, also, I know the existing gauges. I've had the belly off the rig before, and I know the existing gauges have uh, four wires going to the sensors down there. So I should be able to utilize all that wiring without running new wires from the panel. Just use the existing wires. So if there's four going to each each tank, I should just need to use two wires. Choose the right colors and I should be in business. So yeah, I'm really stoked to get at another RV mod. It's been a while. So the RV's out in storage, so I'm going to head out there tomorrow and uh, stay tuned for the next video. We'll show you how we uh, install this in the, the Cougar fifth wheel. Till next time, cheers.